In this video, we'll show you how to map your GitHub organization into SonarCube, including setting up the initial integration, getting your users authenticated, onboarding a project for analysis, as well as decorating pull requests uh, of that project with analysis results so developers know whether the code they've added is clean. We'll be creating a configuration for this organization as well as setting up this project up for analysis. In SonarCube, log in as a local administrator in order to create your GitHub configuration. If you've never created a DevOps platform configuration before, you'll be prompted to do so on the landing screen. You can simply click from GitHub uh, to begin creating your configuration. You can also access the same functionality from the top level administration menu under DevOps platform integrations and then create your configuration from here. Give your configuration a name and specify the appropriate API URL for use with your instance. For uh, GitHub Enterprise, uh, you'll want to uh, choose a URL that corresponds to your internal domain. Otherwise, if you're using github.com, uh, you can paste the URL supplied. After this, note that you'll need to install a GitHub app uh, within your organization, and you can do this following the guidance that's in the SonarCube documentation. Once the GitHub app has been created, you can begin copying the relevant information across to the SonarCube user interface. Once you've saved the configuration, you'll note that SonarCube will also check to confirm that it is valid. As prompted in the SonarCube UI, you can also set up authentication to your GitHub platform uh, using the same app that we've just set up uh, for project analysis purposes. We'll follow the link to the authentication section, enable the integration, and we just have to copy a few additional details, including the client ID, uh, as well as a client secret over into SonarCube in order to get this set up. Also note that you can synchronize uh, your teams from GitHub as groups in SonarCube. So as long as the same named group exists on the SonarCube side, uh, it will be mapped from your GitHub organization. You can confirm the authentication integration is working by logging out of your SonarCube instance, where you'll now see uh, that you're presented with an option to log in with GitHub. If you proceed, uh, you may have to authorize uh, the integration from the SonarCube side as that individual user, and you will then be redirected into SonarCube, and now you're logged in as your GitHub identity. Uh, so each of the developers in your organization will now have this as their login experience. Note that creating a project from the SonarCube UI is not your only choice. Other options available include uh, creating a project programmatically using calls to the SonarCube web API, uh, as well as having a project automatically provisioned and created via its first analysis. Uh, this can be accomplished uh, as long as the Sonar scanner is running using a token whose corresponding user has the create project permission. Now let's proceed and set up our project for analysis. We can choose to create the project directly from within the SonarCube UI from GitHub, where we'll be presented with uh, the organization that we've configured. Uh, this is the organi organization that was bound to our GitHub app. We can choose our project uh, and choose to set up this repository. Uh, from here, we'll get some guidance uh, depending on how the project is built. Uh, we'll choose uh, to use GitHub Actions since that's our intention for this project. Uh, and now we can follow uh, the guide on screen to create everything else that's necessary for analysis. As we proceed to set up secrets uh, that will allow GitHub to authenticate to our SonarCube server in order to have analysis results processed, heed the guidance in the SonarCube UI, uh, particularly when it comes to generating a token. 
Uh, if you have an existing token, as you may, if several of your projects will utilize the same uh, authentication token to allow their CI pipelines to run, please use that token instead of creating a new unique token for every user that sets up a project. For the purposes of this demo, I'll simply generate a token uh, and we'll use this one for the demonstration. As we continue, uh, we'll move on to create uh, the workflow YAML file that we'll use to run the GitHub action that will include triggering sonar analysis. Uh, choose the appropriate option for the type of project that you're going to create. Uh, and now you'll be able to follow the on-screen instructions to create uh, a sonar project properties file, uh, as well as the YAML uh, for running the actual pipeline itself. Once you click to finish the tutorial, SonarCube will let you know that you're all set and will await the running of your GitHub Actions pipeline for analysis results to make it into the UI. You can trigger this pipeline either manually or by committing changes to a branch within the repository. A GitHub action will kick off in response to any change that you push. And when this action is run successfully, you will be able to see that there are now results published as the baseline overall code analysis of this branch. As the Sonar Cube UI will tell you, results for new code will begin to appear after any successive analyses, which will be triggered by successive pushes of changes to this branch. You are now set up to analyze additional branches of this project, as well as pull requests. Note that the pull requests will be automatically decorated with information about the SonarCube quality gate result stemming from the analysis. Once other branches or pull requests have been analyzed, you can also see these reflected in the project dashboard within SonarCube. Finally, we would strongly recommend that you add a protection policy uh, so that any uh, main or release branches are protected from having unclean code merged in. You can do this uh, by creating a branch protection rule in GitHub, uh, for example, requiring pull requests before merging and requiring the sonar status check. Once you've set this up, you can now rest easy and assured that you're only going to have new clean code added to your branches. If you require any further assistance, we'd recommend that you go to sonarsource.com support, where you can review your support options, including uh, our free community-based support, uh, as well as commercial support, if you've got a commercial support contract with us. Uh, and Sonar Sourcers will be happy to help.